Okay. So, yeah. um, so we're going to welcome uh, Michael from uh, Datadog to the stage to, to talk about how things, uh, how Datadog can help customers uh, monitor uh, the logs and things happening with their with their microservices. Um, we've we've worked uh, quite a bit with with, with Datadog uh, to, to kind of help customers in this space and make sure that they're um, prepared and ready and, and have additional options for uh, monitoring and logging. So, Michael, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm Michael Gerstenhaber. I'm a, a director of product at Datadog, and I'd like to. Thank you. I'm Michael Gerstenhaber. I'm a director of product at Datadog, and I'd like to talk to you about monitoring EKS and Fargate with Datadog. Uh, Datadog is a SaaS-based uh, monitoring tool uh, providing log aggregation, traces, and metrics to our customers. We're collecting tens of, of trillions of metrics, traces, and log events uh, from our customers around the world. You may know us from our extensive uh, integrations uh, with more than 250 technologies covered out of the box. You may not be using these technologies today, but we're there to support you in whatever off-the-shelf technology you use, and we're proud to be launch partners with two of Amazon's recent exciting new features, EKS and Fargate. In Fargate, we find an elegant way to further, further address the issue of elasticity. We have operating system virtualization without worrying about any of the hardware underneath. With EKS, we tap into an open standard with a vibrant and sophisticated community that's moving with incredible velocity. In either case, the, we're all monitoring the applications running on these uh, containers or platforms. Taking advantage of application auto discovery, Datadog can uh, tell you about your application, how your applications are behaving on ECS, on Kubernetes, or based on the Docker constructs, as well as your, ingest your own custom telemetry. We're here because we're either evaluating containers and orchestrations, or we've already adopted this technology. And we're not alone. But it's not only that more and more organizations are adopting. We also found that adopters ramp up fast. When you add orchestration into the mix, the numbers look even more aggressive. While both Fargate and EKS fulfill this promise of containerized workload, each introduces their own complexities. We don't want to get bogged down in these concepts. We, we want to use them when we need to drill down when there's an issue. But in general, whether it's pods and deployments or tasks and families, we're still running the same applications and services that support our customers. And that's where our focus lies. I'd like to emphasize what monitoring means to orchestrated applications. We've seen orchestration you should skyrocket in the last year and a half, and with that, we have been able to learn from, our, uh, from the experience of our customers as they adopted these technologies and spoke to us about their needs. In our studies, we see that the median lifetime of a container is an order of magnitude uh, shorter than that of, of hosts, uh, two and a half days versus 25 days. And that's just a median. Many, many container workloads, and especially in orchestrated environments, run for minutes or, or even on the order of seconds. Uh, on ECS and EKS, orchestration also shortens the lifetime of hosts by 40%. Though to a greater degree than ever, our services are abstracted away from the resources that they rely on. With more moving parts under the hood, the greater the need is for observability. And in order to automate, we have to be able to observe. Operational complexity increases with the number of things to measure and the velocity of change. And in, with orchestrated environments, both of these factors are moving up and to the right. Everybody knows for yourselves what downtime costs. The average medium-sized uh, company loses about $100,000 for every hour of downtime they see. For larger orgs, the average is on the order of half a million dollars. That's strictly revenue, not accounting for the effort of remediation, for negative Twitter mentions, et cetera. So start collecting metrics and logs and traces early in staging and local environments long before production. So you know what to expect. You know what looks normal when you do launch. We know what metri metrics matter to the performance of the component. 
And we know what metrics we use to troubleshoot problems when the performance of these components degrade. Where is my container running? Some workloads might run differently on differently optimized virtual machines, especially in ECS and EKS. Services will be affected if all the containers on an availability zone lose connectivity. Capacity is also a fundamental factor in both Fargate and EKS and come with their own construction, uh, constructs and rules. Tags are key to, monitoring, uh, to modern monitoring because they allow you to aggregate metrics across your infrastructure at any level you choose. You can slice and dice them in any direction and dimension. You might need to know what images are running in each task. You might need to know uh, something about your pods or, or namespaces on EKS. Now we can ask the similar questions that we always have in new ways of these new abstractions. We can answer these questions, whether we get the, whether we get the information from pseudofiles that describe the containers themselves, or from Amazon or Kubernetes APIs. We can get information from anywhere in the system and pull them into a single pane of glass. So I'd like to show you a quick demo. Uh, perfect. Do you see the demo on the screen? Perfect. So this is uh, an, our out of the box ECS das dashboard. This is an opinionated look at an ECS ecosystem. Uh, usually our customers will take individual uh, panes here of these metrics and pull them onto their own custom dashboards. Here, we're looking at a containerized environment. Each of these squares, each of these cubes, represent an individual container. And we can slice and dice them by any metadata. Here, I'm going to look at task. and further subdivide by image name. So we can see which images are running in each task. That's what I meant before when I was talking about tag-based queries. We can also look at this view in a list form. This allows us to sort uh, and get a greater de uh, density of information on a single uh, screen. So I'm going to pull this down. And I'm going to look at an individual container. This is running on EKS. It's running our agent. And you can see the process tree inside. Each container is just a tiny Linux distribution. It's, it's running its own process tree. And this gives us a visibility into that uh, information. This is not just EKS. If you're running uh, workloads with Docker, EKS, Fargate, whatever you're doing, or if you're using uh, a multi-cloud environment, a uh, multi-rather uh, orchestrated environment, you can see uh, that we support each one. These are each Fargate containers. There is no host information because there are no hosts, but that doesn't matter in the container world. Uh, we can still monitor them. Here we have a custom dashboard. I've taken uh, Fargate, I've taken Kubernetes, uh, EKS, and I've taken uh, custom application data and put them on a single pane of glass. I can scroll my mouse over and everything is tied together in time. And I can use this to debug. If I have locks on a database somewhere, I can see that uh, Fargate containers might be saturated by CPU. And I can understand that uh, the ones running Postgres are, are having trouble. Here, I'm going to click on an individual one and view related logs. This allows me to scope immediately to the logs for that, uh, that scope. I'm looking at uh, uh, a Mongo. Uh, container in my uh, in my coffee shop application, right? I haven't had to switch tools or switch con uh, you know concepts. I maintain my velocity. I knew that something happened because of the metrics, and now I'm trying to understand why it happened in the logs. I can look at this individual one, and I can see what's happening. I can see all the metadata associated with it, and I can see all my attributes. I can also uh, live tail this information. We've all gone and looked at our Docker logs from an individual container. We don't have to limit ourselves to an individual container, although we can. Uh, here, I'm looking just at my uh, Mongo uh, logs from those containers, and we can see them streaming in. 
I could scope down to an individual container to get the Docker output from that one container, uh, or I can scope out to an availability zone and see what's happening across my cluster. We can also see that we have traces. So this represents application level instrumentation. We don't just have metrics uh, coming in from those APIs. We actually have code level instrumentation uh, itself. So here we have latency, errors, and throughput. And if I click on an individual one, we can see a distributed trace. So here we can see it starts in one service and we call other services. So this was a very high level overview of how to use Datadog to combine metrics, logs, and traces into a single pane of glass and use all of the constructs uh, across all of the technologies that you use, whether or not it's Fargate or EKS, uh, whether or not you're running Mongo or, or Nginx or custom applications sending telemetry, and view them all in a single pane of glass and use that as a, a quick workflow to make sure that everything stays up and performant for your customers. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. Really in intuitive thing. So I'm, I'm guessing it's my turn to share my thoughts yeah. first since I'm, okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll ask myself the question since you don't, since you, so you don't have to so. ask me. <laughs> uh, so I thought that that was super insightful. Um, given I have a little bit of a background in business intelligence and, and big data, it's, it's really cool to see uh, the visibility and, and the data that can be provided by, uh, by Datadoc's tools to help customers really understand how things are running in their environment and identify some insights uh, into those things to help customers take action. Yeah, and I, I'm especially interested in monitoring since actually what I was doing in my last job at Intel was building an open source like uh, monitoring type of tool telemetry framework. So trying to get all the data that you can to help you. Basically, I feel like as long as you can filter it, there's nothing wrong with having more data. That way you never you don't have something missing and you can actually look through it and figure out what you want to do based on the data that you can query. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I, I think uh, the more data, the better. Uh, and I always feel like I'm asking for more data and more data uh, so I can learn more and see what's, uh, what's happening. So I think